House Harkonnen, from the volcanic wasteland of Gidi Prime. The Harkonnen know only malevolence, hatred, and brutality. Their leader is the corrupt and vile Baron Rakan. Rakan's power-hungry sons, Gunsang and Kopek, eagerly await the Baron's death. Each plots to take his place, but while he lives, they feed upon him like parasites. Have you no tongue? Perhaps you're wiser than your appearance dictates. I am the Mentat, Janet Kobal. Have no fear, you are not to be killed. The Baron will postpone that small pleasure as long as you are of use to us. No doubt you've heard, the Baron Rakan is not well. Soon one of his sons will take his place. You do well to ingratiate yourself to them. They may not be as far-sighted as their father. This way... It's to be war. Sublime war. We will crush the Atreides and the Ornos, and then we will defile the bodies of their dead. All hail the Parisha Emperor Rakan Harkonnen. Your brother praises me. Well, he looms like a vulture waiting to feed upon my corpse. Could I ask for a more suitable heir? You could ask. <laughs> mother, mother, can I get you something? No, leave, leave me, leave me! Both of you! Why are you hovering there, Mentat? Step forward. What have you brought me? It is the replacement you requested, my Lord Baron. It doesn't look like much. If this one performs as badly as the last one, I'll have you strangled along with it. This sickness makes me forgetful. It is your predecessor. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We had some memorable times together, but all good things must come to an end. Bring the replacement out of my spice planet and make sure he understands the failure of his pain. Oh, endless pain. As you wish, my Lord Baron. Observe closely. This unappealing, waterless ball of dust is the planet Arrakis. But make no mistake, a handful of that dust is worth your life a hundred times over. Now, your training begins. In the name of Giddy Prime, I welcome you. You have been given a rare opportunity, Commander. You've been chosen to command the Harkonnen forces in this war of assassins. A war that will determine the next heir to the Golden Lion throne, the next ruler of the known universe. Destroy the base, Commander. Kill the enemy. Remember, the destiny of House Harkonnen is tied to Arrakis and the Spice Melange. He who controls Arrakis controls the Spice, and he who controls the Spice controls the universe. Yes. House Harkonnen must control the Spice. The enemy is on the attack. Welcome back to Emperor Battle for Dune, and welcome to the third and last campaign for House Harkonnen. We are the bad guys, well the really bad guys, I guess the Orders are the bad guys as well, but they are they are more pragmatic up to the to a level where it's indistinguishable from Malice. There are the Atreides again, so let's just wait until we get our reinforcements. And then let's storm the Atreides base, which is going to be as easy as ever. 
We may as well get some basaurs in the meantime, because why not? That's a lot of guys, but it's okay because we've got flame turrets. Yeah, those guys just get themselves roasted. This looks a bit scary for a tutorial mission if you've never played this game before, but to be honest, you get so many reinforcements and there we go, yeah. I know that's the warm, those are the warm guys. And they're also elite, which does make quite a difference. Okay, let's get over here, let's get the scrap here just because I can, even though it's totally not necessary. Also, uh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that the bus source can actually not be leached. Which is... what is this even? Oh, that was a yak. Which is fairly logical because the leech probably... I guess it could attach to the side also, but... Attached to the actual... attaching it to the actual blade probably wouldn't be wise. And the, the bus source also a light vehicle that can, can crush infantry. Well, crushing is probably not the right term here, but you know what I mean. And buzz. There we go. Okay, well, time to end this for now. You, even the Arconan's theme sounds evil. And squish everyone. And just like the Sadoka and, and the Fremen as well, the Hakonan troops are troops that don't, or the infantry doesn't slow down when they get damaged because their training is too harsh for that. Let's destroy you. Their flamethrower infantry is also fairly slow, but it can't be sniped in one shot. So they're generally the tough guys, but they're also somewhat slow. And boom, there we go. And now, destroy the outposts. This is war, sublime war. There can be no retreat. No, that's a bit of a random message, but I'm okay with that. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time in Emperor Battle for Dune. Take care, goodbye.